be great. Hello and welcome to the Questions Podcast where we answer your questions based on the hooker position. I put a call out on Instagram and Facebook. We'll answer the Instagram questions first, which I, I assume you've got the um, the Facebook questions up on. I can get the Facebook questions. Or do questions. you want to get the Facebook ones on? I'll get the... Um, You'll have to get the Instagram ones up, mate. Yep. So the cast them. patrol is the first one on Instagram. Is Harry Grant a must-have? Oh, we say this. We say this every year. There's no one. There's no such thing as a must-have. But I think being ten points ahead of everyone else, you know, like in terms of the next hooker position, um, I think so. I think he's the safest player to sort of go in terms in, in their position. Um, I guess him. And Jaden Braley are kind of going to be the main consensus and the most the main picked. So I guess if you want to go against the grain, potentially start well or different to majority of the people, you know, going someone else is going to be the way. Well, the thing is, um, I don't think anyone is a must-have to start the year unless they're a cheapie. I think cheapies like Jermaine Hopgood were absolute golden must-haves to start the year last year. But... Um, the reason we do these podcasts for Supercoach is because it's all about a balancing game and how you can get the best team on park and kind of balance it between all the positions. Whereas Harry Grant, if you're picking a best 17 just in the whole Supercoach, Harry Grant's there. So um, he's not a must-have, but it's just about the balance. And if you're spending 750k on him and not going with a gun front row like Payne Haas, then you've got to match them together. And personally... I think I'm going to prioritise Payne Haas over Harry Grant early in the season because mm. I feel like Payne Haas is someone that can fall off and he's not going to be as crucial to have later on. He's going to be the guy that you want to start with, preferably. Yeah, I guess. And the, you kind of get a, a feel of other front rowers yep. as well that you can kind of drop down to during that origin, exactly. origin period. Exactly. Um, Koopy Loop 711 on Instagram. Braley and Grant... I think that's going to be the main... Uh, I think we just said it there. That's oh, the main consensus. Uh, it's funny because I, I thought Blake Braley in my head. Oh, okay. If it's Blake Braley, um, that's a lot to spend in your hooker mm. area. But if it's, it's also taking a reserve spot as well. Yeah. If it's Jaden Braley and Grant, then 100%. I think that's... That's going to be the main... The combo. Do you want me to finish the Instagram? Because there's only like five questions yeah, on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Five um, I can ask you. I'll go... Jake B. Hansen, 66, Faye Grant and go with JMK. We did talk about this in the Hooker podcast that we uploaded on Tuesday night. Um, Depends what you do with that 120K. Exactly. I guess. Um, because there's another one here, Adam Hemsworth. Um, is it worth sacrificing, not starting with Grant, but starting with JMK, if it means I can start Nico and Cleary? <sighs> so who, in, who, who, who's a better combination, I guess, out of... Um, like what three would you choose? Harry Grant, uh, Nico, and Cleary. What three? What out of those three? What two would you choose? So, so you can either have Nico. Nico. I'm trying to think, who's a 600? Who's a like a? It needs to be a halfback. Yeah, eh? who's a who's a halfback that's around that? No, don't don't even like. think about halfback because you can put a cheapie in there. Think about like your just think about five eight. I guess like starting a Dylan Brown over a Cody Walker or nah, that's, that's, like, that's, that's, that's not fifty k difference. Or starting with Kalen Ponga instead of, mate, we're gonna that fullback that fullback yeah. uh, podcast oh is gonna be good, <laughs> exciting. Usually it's usually it's pretty quick, but yeah. Jesus I, Christ, there's, there's a, a lot, lot of this options. year. Um, yeah, I think if it means you can get Cleary and Hines, I would do that because I, I think JMK is gonna match if not do better yeah, than well, Grant to start the year. Like, so. like we were discussing in, in, in the podcast, I think yeah, he last year he was. He was averaging 70s, so the same. Just and it, Hopefully he's recovered from that injury. It also allows you to um, lock up that half-back position and not have a cheapy sitting there just forever. Like, at least if Cleary or Hines go down, you can go to anyone. Yeah. Um, but if Cleary or Hines go off and you don't have them, it's, Good much, luck hard, them. it's much harder to get them. Um, but, yeah, I'm starting with Olaquatu mm -hmm. in my second row. And... I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, I don't know. This is not the second. <laughs> this is not the second <laughs> row question. No, no, but I, I can go to him because I'm not going with like a Cleary or something. But I'm boosting another position as well. Although there's a lot of value, that's going to be a big podcast mm -hmm. too. There's a lot. Well, of I'm sure Mikey will want to be on that one. The he magic loves midi sigma. <laughs> 
All right. Um, Jamie B. 30. Thoughts on Cook bouncing back to top form in Supercoach. A healthy Brandon Smith worth the punt. Probably all depends on minutes. Indication we get on Jaden Braley. Well, I think, I mean, Cook bouncing back, he was perfectly fine last year. I mean, it's not like he fell off a heap. He's kind of been gradually, I guess, yeah. declining. Um, but he's still averaged, what, 65? Yeah. I mean, at the end of at the last five rounds, I think he was averaging like 75, 80-ish, mm. maybe. So I think you're going to get similar from Damien Cook. Than, well, not quite. What Harry Green doesn't have the ceiling, but I don't think there's anything wrong with going Damien Cook. I think the funny thing with Damien Cook, actually, we didn't talk about it in the Hookers podcast, but he starts the season very good, but you don't notice. Mm. I think because... You're just kind of thinking he's done as a super coach player, or, and he hasn't really performed like he does at his his explosive best. But for the first uh, seven rounds, he averaged sixty three, very very top tier. And Jane, what, what did we say? James Sev seventies was it seventies? And um, so he's just yeah. a bit below, and I think. Maybe James K is the guy. Do you think the Dolphins start as hot as they did last year, though? Like, I think they're going to start hot, but do they, they start as hot? They have signed quite well. Yeah. Like um, Flegler, Flegler and Harnsworth. Harnsworth there. And Avarillo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and we've got one, two more questions on Instagram. The Kitchen Master CJF. Two hookers would you start with this season? I think Harry Grant and Jaden Braley is the popular combo. But I've got a question for you who that previous guy just asked. Would you rather go like, a JMK and Brandon Smith or a Harry Grant and a Jaden Braley? I th- uh, yeah, I'd, I'd rather Harry Grant still with, with, with I th- Braley. I actually I, think... I'd, I'd rather Braley over Smith regardless of the combination. Yeah. Um, just the fact you can save 100 and a lot. Were and you going to save that money from going down to JMK? Mm. Better off spending it. I'd wisely. rather spend it yeah. elsewhere, yeah, rather than getting my reserve hooker. Mm. So I probably will not be playing <laughs> the first couple of weeks. And Braden Barnes on Instagram, what mid-range hooker might perform better than premium price hooker in 2024? Oh, see, we, yeah, we, kind of, we kind of went through a few of those on the thing. We we think oh, not so much in the middle tier, but like at the, the Robson tier. Like we mm. went, we think they can go back to... Um, 2022 guess, form. Yeah, m- make that next jump. Um, yeah, I think Robson. I actually was listening to a podcast on Supercoach about the hookers and Reese Robson saying he's not that type of um, try scoring hooker. And going back to that 2020 form is not Reese Robson's game. But mm. um, doesn't he have like the second most runs in the NRL out of dummy? Yeah, home? I actually th- think he's always been a try scorer. Like when he was at St George, when he played big minutes, he always scored tries. So I think that it. Him being at his best is scoring tries and setting up, getting attacking stats as a hooker. So I really think Reese Robson is going to be the mid range kind of guy who breaks out again, again. And yeah, like again. he's got an Origin jersey on offer at round 13. So I think, yeah, yeah have to big on the Cowboys. Hit the ground running. He's your one of your. <laughs> you hit the ground running after five rounds. Um, all right. Uh, some questions to you. Uh, Brett Sims, I don't know if this is a pun at the Roosters. Which bottom eight teams hooker is going to get the minutes? Are there any <laughs> dual positions that can help? Example, Connor Watson. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. I'm sure right. he didn't mean that. It might be two different questions, to be honest. But um, actually, yeah, it is. So which bottom eight teams hooker? Well, who, who's going to be the bottom eight? I mean, there was, what, three teams from last year's that didn't even, or the year before, that didn't make it. I mean, we didn't think the Warriors were going to make Which it. Which bottom eight point. teams? Booker. <laughs> Booker. <laughs> Booker. He's going to get the minutes. Dual positions that can help. Jesus. It's not many dual positions. No. Um, but the first one that does come to mind is Chris Randall, um, if he does get the dual position. But I think with the addition of Palacia coming into the side, he comes into that middle rotation and he kind of doesn't get the minutes that he did last year in the middle. Um and especially like Verrills is back as well. So his score mm. was inflated because he started at hooker and did a lot of that. So I don't think I'd be targeting bottom eight sides though. Like no, sometimes... I mean, you, you kind of you kind of go through them. I think Cameron's going to be down there. They've got two hookers that split. The Dragons, I mean, little 
potentially might get big minutes, but a new coach, new system, don't know how they're going to really go. There is a question on Little, and I'll say it right now. How many uh, – Ray Gavin on Facebook, how many minutes will Lids get? Mm. I, I mean, he's, he's probably one of the fittest in the NRL. Um, so, I mean, Flano potentially – I don't know. I mean, it's a new coach, a new system. I don't know how they're going to go or how they're going to line up. Every team's kind of running a utility now. You don't you'll, really know who they have. You'll know 2016 when Michael Ennis was the hooker. Different gravy, 80? though. Yeah, did, yeah, I know it was kind of a while ago and the, the style of play is different, but did he play 80 minutes? Yeah. So we know that Shane Flanagan, history says he plays an 80-minute hooker, but... Game I, get, I, I guess the game has changed and sometimes you just got to work with what you have and Michael Ennis wasn't. But, but I mean, yeah, if, if the – I mean, Little's probably going to be their starting hooker. If they don't really have a, a bench option, then Little at his, you know, a lowish price. Could be a decent option. I mean, we've kind of – yeah. Does Flanagan spell him if Ronald Volkman gets a spot? Or do you think mm. – do you think the fact that Flanagan has put so much work into this preseason with Flanagan at six – He's just going to stick with that. I think he'd, yeah, yeah, I think he'd choose to play him at six. I think the fact he has a bit, kind of a, a decent kicking game. I know you got Ben Hunt there, but someone that can kind of control a game, Hunt. yeah. And he has a good relationship with him. Well, yeah, you'd assume. Well, you'd assume. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have brought him over. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we, this one we did kind of talk about thinking based on how BA plays with his team. It's a weird one. Um, Joey Lusick is a safe 80-minute hooker for at least the first five or six weeks of the competition. I don't know about that because we saw at the end of last year, mm-hmm. it was kind of him and Brandon Hans were kind but of... But the argument to that, I think he's correct in the way that BA does play 80-minute hooker usually, but yeah. towards the end of the year, Joey Lusick, where was he coming from? Like, was he, was he NRL ready? Maybe he wasn't. So maybe potentially at the start of this year, has a big preseason, conditions himself. Ta- like, cause he was a little bit heavy. Like, you, yeah. could, you could tell he's a bit bigger than what their hookers usually are. Maybe sheds a few kilos and he does play 80 minutes. Mm. So it's a good point. Well, I mean, if, if pre- again, preseason and, and how the teams kind of line up, it's going to be quite annoying with the... Um, the round the zero. round zero yep. to, to waiting a week because you're kind of going to have to lock in... Pl- like players and your plans before you get an idea of yeah. how Parramatta are going to line up. And like a lot of these teams are do produce that, that are playing in Las Vegas uh, premium options are from there. Mm. So usually you choose your premium options and then the cheapies that fit in there allow you to keep their yeah, premium you need, options. You, you, you know, t- you wake to team list and you yeah. go, Oh yep, JB lock yep. him in. But it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. What What do you do? Do you avoid these first teams? Because apparently, apparently the field in Las Vegas is five meters in, so more narrow, thinner than a normal NRL field. So is that how they're going to set it up though? Because I know in the NFL they have four thousand people's on each side of the field, so there's a lot of space to go that so way. So you reckon they can sh- still? Yeah, surely they don't make it five meters in. Like that doesn't make sense. I mean, yeah, the NFL stops. In a couple of weeks, so it's not yeah. like they're going to have any so they'll have time. playing there. Um, well, I guess still on that question from Jason Phillips, can he make more money than Jaden Braley? Mm. So they're similar base, similar priced. Um, I guess again, if he's locked in, if if they're only running one, if they if he's, if he's their only hooker, would you go Lussick or Braley? It's a tricky one, isn't it? Because I think that. Um, I think Braley has more upside, but there's a lot more risk in Braley. Mm. I think Lusick is the one that can you can kind of plug in, and it doesn't seem like if he's the one that's named at hooker, it doesn't seem like there's going to be much downside. It's going to be more of a slow burn, and you wait for him to score that try. But Braley just seems a bit more exciting, doesn't it? Well. Seems to be more know. playable too. Yeah, yeah. And I think the fact that you're probably running Harry Grant, you need someone that you'll be happy playing in mm. that round. I think it's round four. Round four or five. Um, next one. <laughs> Chris Davis on Facebook says the same thing. Hands or Braley for the bench spot. Mm. I think we're leaning towards Braley by the sounds of it. Um, another one, 80-minute hookers. We went through that. 
other than the other than the super obvious number one pick, Sony Luke, if we don't go for Harry Grant, would Cook plus Brayley or Cheese be sustainable until after Origin? I yeah. think so. Yeah. And, and we've talked about it. JMK is our guy. Mm. And uh, Cook, I think you can put in the same bracket as, as someone. Funny thing, um, the other week I was actually at a wedding with um, JMK's girlfriend. Mm. And I was like fangirling so hard. I used to work with her, so like I know her, but I was fangirling hard. I was like, oh, you. <laughs> what, what's, <laughs> what's, what's I was like, what, what's it like dating an NRL player? Like, and I was asking what his routine is like. I was fucking hammered. Um, I was asking what his routine's like. Like, is it full, like, full on and stuff? And she's like, no, he gets up at eight and goes to training. He's just normal stuff. blokes, Abs. <laughs> and They're all normal blokes. I'm pretty sure I asked the same question like three or four times, just in different ways. <laughs> um, oh goodness. But, but I was talking him up a lot. I said he's... Bloody good. You s- you'd say that to anyone. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what footballers you really hate, but you would say, you would talk them up if their partner or brother or someone was there. Well, you don't have to say anything. I don't know if I would. Depends. What, you wouldn't go talk to them? Depends who the player is. Like, if it was Seb Chris, I'm not going to go up to his family member and say, you're a mad fool. He's no, a mad what if fullback. He was there? What if he was there? Well, if Seb Chris was there, you'd go up and say, oh, I'd probably mate, you're a gun player. <laughs> Anyway, Probably. anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, looking for a oh no, no, I'm not, uh, not, not asking <laughs> that one, Adam Sargent. Um, that's the wrong hooker. Um, ooh. Braley or Braley or both, Braley squared, Braley squared. I like the idea of Braley squared. I think, I think it's a nice little gamble. Like, if you think Blake Braley is going to come out and He's not going to be your hooker for the whole season. I think you've got to look at it from like a first five rounds perspective. The fact that Harry Grant does have a buy early Sharks, on. Sharks, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have the buy straight after the storm. There you go. So, I mean, you can run Brayley so, up so to do that you go buy, Bra- then go So do you go Brayley to Harry Grant and then ho- that that's your plan the whole time and then hopefully you've come out on top. Yeah. Hopefully then, the price to drop to doesn't cost you yeah. too much. It, it could be a good tactic. I like it. Uh, Evan Burnett And he went on How many minutes Jane Braley is likely To get with Phoenix Crossland Well he's a massive Phoenix Crossland fan Over here As we've <laughs> established For this one But I, I think Phoenix Crossland Will come on And play a bit of 13 They don't have Kurt Mann there anymore So I think yep. I mean we We both agree It's probably around The 60 At least the 60 mark f- For um for Braley At least 55 At least 55 say, yeah. we'll Drop it by another Another 5 For, uh, for no apparent reason <laughs> Yeah just to, just to be safe Um Brad Ives, if you don't start with Harry Grant, who would you start with? We've kind of both gone with JMK. Um, mm. We both like the thought of that. Reese Robson's another one we're kind of both pretty keen on. You you are keen on Re- – you're a Reese Robson yeah. guy, aren't you? Yeah. There, there, there's like a couple s- of years ago, he, we went really well. For, I think we both brought yeah, him in, Yeah, we both had him. So, yeah, we kind of have a soft spot for him. Yeah, that's it. Jeff Fletcher, is Hooker going to stink as much as last year? I don't think so. I think there's – There's a couple of options couple this of year. options. I think – Obviously, the main one's going to be Harry Grant and cheap option, Braley, most likely. Um, but I don't know. If you want to want to zig when everyone zags, I think something different. we're just so used to having a, lo- a lot of these guys are so used to having Cameron Smith and then all these other options. So that's why the position was always so good. We don't have Cameron Smith that that is just always there, that guy, and then Damien Cook rivaling him and then all these other guys. So um, I think... It will get to. A, it's getting to a point now where all these hookers are starting to come of age, and it's a position where you got to play eighty minutes to be relevant in Super Coach, and you've got to be kind of more experienced to be good at the position as well. So um, these hookers are starting to come of age, and um, I think we will start to look at the hooker a bit more in years to come. But um, I still think by the end of the year, you're probably not reserving putting your last reserve on another hooker. No. It's going to be your halves, your full backs, and probably another second rower. Yeah. Yeah, or a centre on a good good matchup. Yeah, but there you him, go. Yeah, most likely. But that's all. That's oh, all that's it. Oh, yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot of them are a lot of double-up questions. So, All right, cool. Well, thanks for tuning in to uh, the Questions Podcast. We'll do this for every episode for um, – hookers up to the full backs um so we'll answer the questions separately and upload them on a different day so um we're just not going over the same things over and over again in one episode so um cheers for tuning in and if you do like the show make sure to subscribe on youtube if you are so 
on YouTube, we get a roughly like nearly 2,000 views every video during the Supercoach season. We only have 1.26K subs, so... Oh, this is like everyone on YouTube. But usually they put the, uh, this is how many people subscribe, this is how many views, or, yeah, or yeah, not yeah. subscribed. Oh, yeah, okay. so there are people that haven't subbed. Put a graphic. And put also, graphic. if you haven't subbed to our podcast feeds, sub on that. It really helps us out as well. So cheers for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next week. Cheers.